Omega Day family, how are you guys doing today? So I'm so excited about today's topic. Today we'll be discussing fake reviews on Google. And this is something that has been becoming a little bit rampant. I've been seeing it a lot more. If you're like me, you rely a lot on Google reviews. And I am always on Google trying to search for the reviews and trying to search for what other people are saying. I really want you guys to be able to kind of have a good feel of what's fake and what's not when it comes to Google reviews because I use it every day. It's one of the things that I use to make decisions. It's one of the most important aspects of my decision making and I want you guys to be able to tell the difference uh, and be able to use that more as an asset to yourselves because I know a lot of other people use that as well and rely on that as a source of information when making a decision. Well, I want you guys to make the, de the best decisions in life on a daily basis regardless of what that decision is about. Comment, subscribe. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for being a part of the May Day family. A human fake Google review detector. So uh, <laughs> let's get it started. In talking about fake Google reviews today, uh, we're going to go through eight ways in which you can detect fake Google reviews. The first way is the reviewers' other reviews. What do I mean by that? If you are looking up an establishment online and looking at their Google reviews, you can literally click on their profile to see what other reviews they have left. And usually fake profiles would have only let like would have only left like that one review so they'll only have that one review or all their reviews will look similar with no detail in them you'll kind of just be able to get a feel for uh, that particular profile and if it's a fake review or not if you're trying to figure out if this is a fake review or if these are fake reviews you can click on the profile and see what other reviews they've left and if they have left several 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 other reviews then that might be an indi indicator to you that that's a fake profile that is being used uh, for reviews, for the purposes of just reviews. Most of the time when it comes to fake reviews, these are usually handled by fraudulent reputation management companies or SEO companies that are trying to help the companies kind of keep up their online appearance by just clicking on the profile, seeing if there are any other reviews listed under that account. And if they are, they most likely look just about the same, if not are exactly the same. Uh, and then you can kind of get a better feel of whether or not that is a real or a fake review. These are names like Mike M, for example, uh, not only seem to have traveled across the world and back in an extremely short period of time uh, when you click on their profile, but they also seem to have a lot of favorite places in a lot of different states and locations. So he, love, he has a favorite grass cutter in California and a favorite restaurant in St. Louis and a favorite iPhone shop in Alabama or something like that. So uh, a lot of times when you click on a, a, a fake profile that's leaving fake reviews for companies, that's what one thing that you'll notice is they seem to have traveled across the world in a very short period of time and uh, they have a lot of favorite places, which is also quite interesting. Uh, so that's one way of, of definitely getting a feel for whether or not that account is real and that particular Google review is real. Generic reviews. Um, Google reviews are personable. People will leave a lot of details, dates, days, what they came in for, names. Uh, for fake Google reviews, you will see none of that. It will be literally a generic template that they use all of the time and they have probably used for several different other companies as well. So you can just look at the review and get a good feel of if that's a real review or a fake review because it will just say something like, thanks, this was such great service, name of company was so awesome to me. And it's just a generic review that literally you can plug into anywhere and fit into uh, any company. That's another way of telling. And, a lot, and 
Another thing you could do is you could actually take that comment and look it up on Google. And a lot of times it will pull up all of the different um, companies that might be associated with this particular review. So it's literally mind blowing, but a lot of SEO companies or fraudulent companies don't even bother to change their template for their reviews. They just use the same template all the time. Also, the use of exclamation marks is frequently used among generic uh, reviews. So generic words will be used, like we mentioned earlier, such as thanks, you're awesome, this company was awesome. They might even insert a company name and then they'll put an exclamation mark in there. Uh, that's a lot of what uh, generic reviews look like and fake reviews look like. So just kind of be on the lookout for that. Uh, just have your radar off up when you see things like that. You'll also notice that they use uh, the name of the company quite often, especially if the name of the company is keyword rich, meaning a lot of people search for that name or search for those particular words. They will insert it right within, right within the, the comment just to kind of boost up uh, that search and boost up that company's presence online. So if you're looking at a particular review and it has the name of the company, um, Sally's beauty pageant is awesome. They were great. Uh, something like that. Really generic, really just applicable to any company and then it has the name of the company right in that review, then you are most likely dealing with a fake profile, a fake account, uh, you know, a fake review. It's the actual profile's avatar. Any of these fake profiles uh, you could tell using their avatar because they will usually not have images of people or personal images as their uh, profile's avatar, uh, or they will have images that you can find uh, over the inter internet, stolen images from the internet as their avatar. So it's really easy to check this because you can literally click on that picture and drag it onto the Google search uh, um, search bar and it will come up uh, and you'll be able to see if that is a stolen picture from the internet but usually they either won't have uh, they either won't have a personal picture or a picture of a person as their avatar picture or they, they will have a person there but it's stolen from the internet and you can always check that by dragging and dropping into the Google search box now this is one of those things right that you might like you could look into and see if any of the other uh kind of like telltale signs apply because for my profile i know that i don't have a personal picture up it's just kind of like the initial of my profile name but obviously i'm a real reviewer i review like companies and i write reviews for them on google if i feel like i like them or i don't um, so that's something that you might want to look into or you could drag and drop the picture uh, and try to see if there are any other tell, tell signs that would indicate to this pointing towards a fake profile and a fake Google review. The fourth way that you can differentiate between a real and a fake Google review is the best badge ever. The best badge ever most people actually do not even know about. It is literally a badge that you can add to your Google review to indicate that it's the best place ever and it's your most favorite place on planet Earth. And the reason this is a good indicator on whether or not this is a real profile is because most people don't know about that badge and it's quite hidden within the profile actually so i've never even seen one used i mean no one even knows that that exists so if you see a lot of comments that have that best badge ever or you come across a comment that has that then you might want to look into that a little bit more to see if that's a real or a fake google review same reviews a lot of times these companies are not very smart and they will literally use the same reviews for several different companies that they're, they might be working for and trying to help promote. Putting that review into the Google search box and it will bring them all up. So what you will be surprised 
about is that Google doesn't catch these fraudulent profiles until maybe several years later. So that's definitely something to look into if you're curious, if it looks kind of sketchy, uh, you could put that review into the Google profile and see what comes up because a lot of times they, it's just a template, it's the same review and uh, it's not an actual review, it's not a real review. A few or a couple of one star reviews and then you have several five star reviews like 20 five star reviews and a couple of one star reviews. Companies will try to bury their negative reviews under a ton of positive reviews and they will hire these fraudulent companies to actually help them with burying those negative reviews, meaning pushing those negative reviews all the way to the bottom. So then all they have are the positive reviews that are at the top. And so what you would want to do is you want to scroll all the way through, make sure you look at all the reviews. Uh, and usually those positive reviews will be one to two sentences long. They will lack detail. They won't really say anything. They'll just be praising the company and that's it. That's most likely a fake review. So you want to be careful about that. You also want to uh, make sure to be attentive of the negative reviews because a lot of times those negative reviews will have a lot of detail in them. When people are pissed and they live a review, they tend to live a review with a lot of details as to why they're pissed. So you want to be attentive of that and uh, just kind of mitigate that and be watchful and mindful of that simple fact. By looking at the time span within which each review has been left. Big reviews have been left within one to three months apart from each other. But that's not a lot of time. So oftentimes when you see that, that's a good indicator that that might be a fake profile and that might be a fake review. Uh, especially if you have several reviews, and I've seen this quite often, if you have several reviews and they're all within one to three months apart and they're all positive four or five star reviews, there's a good chance that those reviews are in fact fake. Is the overall appearance of the Google Place listing, uh, the location on Google Place listing, if it's really close to the actual location of the business itself, that's a little bit sketchy. So that's something to also pay attention to. Uh, if you look at the map and kind of see uh, where those two are related or located in relation to each other, uh, that's another way that you can tell uh, if this might potentially be a fake Google review. Those are the eight ways in which you can tell if a Google review is real or if it's a fake Google review. I have come across my fair share of fake Google reviews because I use it so often and it's an important part of my decision making. It has come to be an important part of my overall decision making when it comes to several things. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Please keep this in mind when you're using Google reviews in order to make a decision on something or on anything that you might be contemplating. Thank you for your time and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.